It doesn't matter what my name is. Get away from my business. Good afternoon, everybody. The Irish Demon back with another video. Once upon a time, barbers used to look like this. But nowadays, a lot of them tend to look a bit more like this. Yes, the world of barbering certainly has changed. When I was a kid, I used to go to one of the oldest barbers in the whole of Ireland. And he was a proper old school barber. But nowadays, I go to my good friend Rob. He's six foot three, he's covered in tattoos, and he's a black belt in jujitsu. Now, if you don't know what jujitsu is, that is the Japanese word for folding clothes while somebody's still wearing them. So I think it's a safe bet that going to a barber shop and harassing them with a camera, somehow in defense of the First Amendment, is probably Probably not a great idea. Let's get stuck into the video. No flash fame, photography. Fame. fame. No warn flash me now, warning you. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I got the mask, David. Terry, what you gonna do? Damn. Neighbor 20 Supreme Court thing. This is like the weirdest police haircut. Freak. Like creepy buzz cut. Governor Freak Barbershop. Oh, right? Do I flash something? Oh, yeah. oh my god, they're already triggering. Hey, wasn't this, um, this, this? That was outdoors at one point, maybe. So. <laughs> oh, wait, all I gotta do is. They're all triggered, man. This is cops, man. And shitheads and suck asses. No, this is barbers, man. There's literally three barbers in there as evidence from what they're wearing and what they're doing. The one that's got the high and tight police haircut that you're talking about is clearly cutting another gentleman's hair, which I might indicate for the jury makes him a barber, not a cop. And I'd just like to point out this gentleman's incredible use of technology. How can we not take this guy seriously as a news broadcaster? Yes, that is his phone connected to a stick with rubber bands. This will do it. And see that guy? It's all like um, cops and and male male prostitutes. What? Rob, is there something you're not telling me? And whatever they do. Oh, I think I got that. Oh, it's hideous, man. Oh, that guy. So I, thing of the QR code, we can't have any videos, that? okay? Oh, we so... We did not give you permission to record us in here, okay? But I have permission to, um, I have permission to stand on this place and get that thing. And I was like, can I have... Oh my god, do you guys see a shade got pulled? Oh, they're tripping, man. They're so triggered. Is it? This is some... This is some evil. Evil. This is, um... This is like the, um... Oh, look. They put all this... Oh, okay, you guys are coming out. Oh, you got another door. I got good light. So what's up with this? What's up with the barbershop? What kind of barbershop is this, man? What? in there. Okay. Dude, if she didn't do all this, all I right, wouldn't. Come on, you gotta go. That's it. That's enough. That's enough, man. Move along. Are you all right? <laughs> Buddy, I'm gonna break your phone. What's your name? It doesn't matter what my name is. Get away from my business. I can't have you recording everything. It's getting ridiculous. We've asked you three times now to move. You're a criminal. I don't give a f buddy. Get out of here. I'll call the cops on you. You see who's a criminal. For what? What crime? For loitering in front of my business. Move it along. Yeah, call him then. Move it along. You just threatened it. I don't care. Move it along. Assault me. You, you don't to care? Your You're a criminal. Street? Tell me about that. 
It is. I, do you just say head injury? Oh, that's not a threat. You think I have a head injury. You don't threaten me with a head injury, right? What is it? Were you threatening me to hit me and I'll get a head injury? Or did you just say you think I have a head injury? Probably the other. Man, this guy's... I would have... Oh, my God. I would have been gone, man. What the hell? What the hell, man? It's not loitering. And, dude... It's not loitering if the guy's like doing all this. And like, I'll get, you know, people. It's interesting. That's no longer loitering. If he's making a scene like a like a like a circus there and I'm and I'm videoing it. That's an activity. That's not loitering. I don't know if I'd even go so far as to call it loitering. Just being an absolute nuisance. A total pest. Just picture the scene here, folks. You've got a gentleman here who's trying to run a business. And it looks like a really nice joint. He's got multiple staff there that are working really hard. While this feckin' Egypt just comes along, I guess on his day off it must be, just to bother them while they work. What have they ever done to you to deserve that kind of treatment? Leave the people who actually work, work. <laughs> oh, God help me. It's all so go. You heard that, man. So I knew it. I knew it. That ain't just normal. Oh, the barber is um, a criminal. The criminal barber. The criminal barber. You know, dude. Look, we're across from the state house. That's the state house. It's more like it. Time to chop and mop. Okay, time to chop the mop. Then look like a cop. Time to chop the mop and look like a cop. I don't believe it. See, dude, that is a cop barber shop. Cops and everything else, all the shitheads. Yeah. Me. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, get this thing. Yeah, take the lady's advice, man. Get out of here. Uh, hey, hey, do you hear that? Ack, ack, ack. You heard that, right? He goes, ack, 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 ack. Oh, God, man. You guys can hear that, right? That's how they talk. Ack, 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 ack. Man. Place. Massachusetts. So it's come to you right across from the thing, man. Hey, the guy said you're not supposed to do that, you know? He said that's against the law or something. You know? You tell her, man. Tell her she's like breaking the law or something. Or you're gonna. Yeah, buddy. You're yeah. about to get your head. You're. Okay, buddy. Get Shut up. Get Pervert, don't threaten me. Pervert, look at yourself. That is, man. what it is because I know this shit I know how it works man I know how it works now, if that barber actually was a police officer, you could argue that that kind of behavior wouldn't be acceptable. But again, he's a barber. A pretty solid looking barber that ain't taking your shit. Now, this is how I feel when I watch a lot of these auditor videos. Yeah, there's rules. Yeah, there's laws. But I feel like a bit of old school is needed. I know for a fact that that shit wouldn't go down in Rob's place. Or when I have my place, it ain't going to go down there either. Camera or not. So anyway, you would think that he had enough of this place that he obviously hates so much. But no, he just decided to go back again because his video got so many views and for some reason he decides to serenade them with this beautiful song it's my neighbor pop from the bother shop told me he's in the gambling spot heard the intricate plot neighbors want to stick me like fly paper caper slow down love chill drop the caper Remember them neighbors from the hill Down in Brownsville You got nice kids so fancy Go dicey Yeah, yeah. Neighbors 
Nah, damn, my neighbor, nah, nah, damn, disrespect. I didn't say them. They clued me to some neighbors that you knew from heck you been. When you was clocking minor figures. Now they heard you blowing up. Like nitro. Wanna drop a knife through your windpipe slow. So, thank fame warning me. Now I'm warning you. Got the Mac, neighbor. Tell me what you gonna do. Oh, that's a cop. Damn. Neighbors wanna speak in from my paper. Damn. Neighbors want to stick me from my paper. Damn. Neighbors want to stick me from my paper. Damn. Neighbors want to stick me from my paper. They heard about the Rolexes and the Lexus with the license plates out of state. They heard about the pounds. Hey, something, something, something. Down. They even heard about the crib you bought from down in, oh shit, in Florida. Oh shit, I'm way ahead. Call the coroner. There's gonna be a lot of slow singing and flower bringing. If my burger alarm, alarm starts ringing, what you think all the guns is for? The thrower got the Rottweiler by the door and a feed them gunpowder so they can devour the criminals trying to stop, drop my decimals down. Neighbors want to stick me from my cream. It ain't a dream. One little boat. Hey, Sid, yeah. Oh, excellent. Leave the storefront. Huh? Leave the storefront. 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 What did he say? I, I may have missed that there. Leave the storefront. Leave the storefront. Ah, yeah. Leave the storefront, dude. Leave the storefront. 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 You want me to take your phone? Leave the storefront. Leave the storefront. Leave the storefront. I'll take your Stop. Phone. Okay. I'll, leave, I'll take your phone. Leave the storefront. Stop assaulting me. I'm not assaulting you. I'm going to break your phone now. That's a threat. That's a threat. You were I'll just assaulting me. You were assaulting me. You did grab me. I'll break your phone. I'll break your phone. Keep walking. Keep walking. Walk that way, buddy. I'll break your phone. Stop assaulting me, I'm pig. Assaulting is this guy so badly stuck for a police interaction that he has to just pretend to himself that this barber is a cop? Walk that way. You're going to get hurt. So what's the deal with this? What are you guys doing? Dude, I'm here. What do you think I'm here for? The barber shop? I, I got to do. You're here, because I don't, want, I don't need you here. I know like why do you let like why I did you guys you start this? What what did you do? Why did you do this? Why I'm at the state house. Nothing. It's a barber shop, man, and the tattoo. What? You After you threaten me and do stuff. So now you're 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 an incident. No, you're a the I'm videoing. I'm. We I'm a. Uh, video, we don't want you to video us. Well, you're on the news now, man. I put you on YouTube. Did you see it? I don't give two shits what you put well, that's my job, man. This just in: you don't work for the news. Having a cell phone rubber banded to a stick does not mean you work for the news. You don't have a job. I can tell you don't. Well, have okay, a job. that's my. Um, that's my activity. Yeah, it's your activity. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, you man. Don't need to stand here. What? You don't need to continue saying it. Well, if you're threatening me doing illegal just stuff, want you to just keep dude, moving dude. Moving all I do, police. I had to do the governor's office. You guys got well, triggered. Barbers, that other dude's cool, man. We're just barbers, bro. We're just barbers. Nothing in here happening but haircuts. Yeah, except that dude's cool, man. He's got the anger his jaw. That that dude's uh, that's a real dude, man. Yeah, yeah, and um, yeah. I mean, I feel bad. And at, at home, I feel guilty. You know what I mean? I put it on YouTube, and, you know, because he's a solid dude. You know what I mean? And and um, but you know, it's it's like right. entertainment. I'm with the grizzly bear. Like this is a, you guys are more badass. There's not, no one like you guys. Hey, I'm sorry, I'll leave you. Yeah. Alone, all right? Oh yeah, yeah. And I, let me wind it down. I'm just yeah. wind. I'm just gonna wind down because that's all it is. That's all it would be. Yeah.
you know, it's like, all right, well, we have all right. Now that was a great way to deal with this guy. I gotta hand it to that guy, that was awesome. Now sure, this guy was incredibly irritating. And sure, it's really easy to get your back up and get aggressive like the other guy. And I do not blame him for that one bit. But I could see that it became very evident to the second gentleman that this guy clearly has something going on. Now I did find out what that something is and I'll let you know at the end of the video. But good job, dude. <laughs> I guess we're done, man. I guess we're done with that, right? I did that. Alrighty, so I did a bit of digging and it turns out that this guy's got a pretty lengthy criminal record. Not only that, but he's a very serious, self-confessed drug abuser. And this is clearly something that causes him a lot of distress. He's made some videos about it in the past and it makes for some very difficult watching, I gotta be honest. Now, if it didn't become very obvious from this video what kind of a dude this guy is, maybe this short clip will show you. I'm all alone in a police station. I swear to God, it's like Martin Luther King. Birmingham jail, I'm in jail. So as you can see, this guy clearly isn't playing with the full deck. His brain is probably fried. Now let me be very clear when I say this from the outset. I feel terrible for this guy. I wish him the best and I hope he's able to find some level of recovery. But we gotta be real about this here as well. We can feel sorry for the guy and we can help the guy. But we also have to acknowledge the fact that there are people out there trying to make a living, trying to go about their daily lives without being harassed. This isn't about hiding away people who are difficult in our community. This is about dealing with it in the best way we can. This is about being realistic. I worked a lot with homeless people and one of the massive things that they always said was that they feel so isolated. Now that's not to say that this guy's homeless, but he gives that appearance and out in the community, that's how he would likely be treated. And that's gotta be really difficult. But I can definitely understand people's reaction to it. When I go to the barbershop, I go there to have a chat, to relax, to look nice and fresh coming out the door, and I don't want any stress while I'm there. I don't want somebody sticking a camera in a window shouting nonsense. So yeah, ultimately, while I do feel, genuinely feel bad for this guy, at the same time, I have to respect those who are out there trying to grind out a living, doing really well, got this beautiful shop in a beautiful part of Boston. Massive respect to that guy. He shouldn't have to suffer because somebody else has got these issues. It's sad that there's not as much help out there for these people as is necessary, but life has to go on. Society has to progress. So what I would say, I leave you with this. If you're walking down the street today and you see somebody homeless or somebody that's struggling or somebody who's got some difficulties, do something to help them. Anything at all. It doesn't have to be money, it doesn't have to be food, it can just be a hello. It's really important to make people just feel like a human being when they haven't been treated that way for so long. We saw the massive difference in this guy and how this de-escalation from the man working in the barbershop worked. He treated the guy with respect. He fist bumped him and said, look, man, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have, you know, whatever. And I think he did a really good job. It immediately brought the whole situation down and within 30 seconds, the guy left. So anyway, folks, that was not an easy video to make. Yeah, it was funny at times. And yeah, we can talk about how silly these things are, but it raises a lot of really interesting points. And I hope it gives you all a bit of thinking to do. Well, folks, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. We'll catch you in the next one. Sláinte.